What is up, my lovely people? About a week ago, I created a Google form, and I said, Hey, viewer, you, you there, buddy. Have you ever been in love? Tell me. Tell me your story. And we got 87 responses. So, today we're reading all 87. No, no, dude, we can't do that. Um, but if this gets 200 likes, I'll give it a part two. So maybe, like, maybe like the video or something. Anyways, let's get into it. Have you ever been in love? No. Okay. Okay, bro. I got you. Have you ever been in love? I have, but then she dumped me because supposedly I was fat, which I'm not really, but that made me really alone and really depressed. Then I started to go for runs. Okay. Okay. I mean, horrible situation, but at least we got a good ending out of it. Not exactly a happy ending. Not, not exactly the happy ending you would have wanted, but... I'm glad that you now have some motivation to do runs, you know. I have hear of people getting gym motivation from getting broken up with. Like, they they fall out of love with someone and all of a sudden it's like, I'm, I'm the dark knight and I need to lift 700 pounds. Like, I respect it though. I met my current boyfriend at Crumble Cookie, which is where he works, and I asked him out when my friends and I went to Crumble Cookie after school one day in September. My friends knew him, but I didn't. They all told me to do better, but I really liked him. Flash forward to now, we are all, we are still dating, and the people who I went to Crumble Cookie with are no longer my friends. It happens sometimes, bro. I won't lie, one of my um, old friends, when he had got a girlfriend, first off, I was like, dude, they're not going to last. You guys aren't going to last. And they've been together for like 10 months now, so I respect that. But, yeah, if you have friends like that, then just tell them that you're happy and you're doing your thing, and that's all they should care about. Because eventually I was happy for my friends. Because he was happy, man. Gotta be happy if he's happy. Have you ever been in love? Kinda. There was this person I liked and they liked me back. We dated for a few months but broke up because they said I was too clingy for them. By the way, guys, I am I'm a clinger, bro. I'm a clinger. Like a koala bear onto Essie's arm, you know? I'm a very clingy person, man. I love physical touch. I love to be touchy, man. I love to be around my girlfriend like 24-7, so I so I get it if you're clingy, man. I get it. Sorry, I think my mom said, said something. We still talk every day and are best friends. We still like each other, but we aren't dating. We're both thinking at some point in the future we will try again. Interesting. Interesting story there. Kind of. I mean, I just I just hope it works out for you. I hope it works out. Because you guys both like each other, you know. You just need to like figure out how to how to have that relationship, how to, you know, set those boundaries and figure that out. But that's good that you guys are thinking you'll try it um, at some point in the future again, you know? Have you ever been in love? Okay. So honestly, I thought I was, but I really wasn't, if that makes sense. I was with this guy from, like, November to April. At first, I was thinking I really liked him, but I was in control of myself. And I would tell my friends, like, if a guy ever told me to stop being friends with people, then I would break up with them. But, like, a month later, he starts telling me he doesn't really like so-and-so and that I shouldn't hang out with them as much and then he slowly started isolating me from everyone even my parents yikes dude sounds like a little control problem personally like me and Essie are really lenient when it comes to like friends it's like do your thing you know you're allowed to have like your own life but at the end of the day like come together and we'll have like us time so then comes February I have no real friends but him and then he starts trying to, like, all the sexual things and was telling him I'm not ready for that and I want to wait and he just keeps pushing it. Okay, this is getting bad, dude. This is getting bad. She says, we never did anything, or we never did anything, want to preference that. But in late March, a week before spring break, we were hanging out in this wooded area by my school, like we usually did. And my dad walks up behind us. Mind you, my dad did not want me with this kid because of some stuff. I get it, man. We don't need to get into it. That's cool. Some of this, just some stuff. I got you. And so my dad takes me home, and I never went back to school, and I had to do the rest of the year online, all for a boy that didn't even like me. LMAO, never again. I, I hear a lot of people do that. Like, they fall out of love, and they're like, yeah, I'm not doing that again. And eventually you do it again, because love is, you know, love is love, and we love love. I love loving. I love being a person who loves. That's just an unfortunate situation, you know. You got you thought that you were in love with that guy, and then it turned out he's just kind of, um, 
kind of an asshole. To be real. To be real. I mean, he's pushing that, like, sexually. That's not good, bro. That's un- that's uncomfortable. And there's a reason that your dad didn't like him, I'm sure. There's a there's probably a bigger reason here that we're not seeing. Have you ever been in love? Tell me your story. Yes, multiple times. And if I learned one thing, it would be don't date goth girls. Okay, interesting. <laughs> All right, here we go. I've been in love, and I've lost my love. Five years ago, I was working in a theater where I met this angel whose name was Celeste. She had highlighted sweet honey hair and deep almond eyes with the most gorgeous pair of white pearls. I never used to believe in love at first sight, but there she was. I couldn't take my eyes off her. Okay, can I just say, like, starting off, like, dude, this is this is wholesome, and this is heartwarming, and this is cute, bro. This is cute. I was with some friends back then, and they were constantly trying to make me talk to girls, so I took the opportunity and went for it. She had the most sweetest accent. She was born in Ireland and moved to New Jersey, which is where we're, where we're from. I'm going to say it's where we're... Yeah. We exchanged numbers and started talking about our favorite films. Hers was Perks of Being a Wallflower, mine was Beautiful Boy. I've never seen either of those, but I've heard good things about Perks of Being a Wallflower, and I really, really want to watch it, but I just can't get myself to sit down and do it. We had so much in common, we just clicked. I love when that happens, dude. It's the, it's the best feeling when you have like a friend and you just click with them, or you, just, you meet a new person and you just click with them right away. A couple months later, we made it official. I met her parents. They were great. But Celeste was struggling with college a a few months later. Struggling with college, we were arguing a lot. One One night, I come back from visiting my mom to see her. I later find her dead in the bathroom. She took an overdose. That took a really dark turn that I was not expecting. Let's let's hear him out, though. Um, I still blame myself to this day because her last words said to her where I wish you could just disappear. So basically the point I'm trying to say is the purpose of life is to explore the possibilities, to find love, and to make a change into this hell we were born in. We are brought into this world with pain and we leave with pain. Suffering is but a blessing in disguise. Jeez, man. That's heavy, dude. That's heavy. You know, I've, you know, you see that a lot where people like they wish that their last words were better. And that's why we got to appreciate the people that are here like every single day, dude. Every single day, let your partner know how much you appreciate them. Let your parents know how much you appreciate them. Because you never know, dude. You never know. But yeah, man, I agree with you. Like, the purpose of life is to explore the possibilities. You know, find love, make a change. Um, find your own purpose, you know. This is all in Russian. And then at the end, it says, still in the closet. So... Shout out to shout out to the Russian dude. Yes, I'm in love right now with a really amazing girl that I'm gonna fly out to see next week. So happy, awesome. Me too, man. I cannot wait to see my girlfriend later today. I literally just saw her like an hour ago, but I can't wait to see her again. We're gonna bake some blondie bars and we might go swimming. Pretty fun, dude. Yes, I have been in love. I was with this guy. It made me feel like I was worth something. Okay, here we go. That's good. We wanna we wanna feel like we're valued. I told him things I didn't even tell my best friend, like family things. I was at my lowest when he left me, and I worked so hard to be back to normal. He then went around school telling people about my stuff, and then everyone knew my family issues. I now have severe anxiety and trust issues because of it, and I find it very hard to ever trust anyone again. Uh, Rightfully so. Understandable, because that is just plain evil. And with that, you know, with the intent, like, it's not like he was like, oh, that slipped out, like I accidentally told him something I was not supposed to, like, he did it with intent, and that is f- fricked up, dude. I have never really been in love, just small, meaningless crushes. I really wish I could be in a relationship right now that's actually meaningful, but things have been tough lately. I need some tips, lol. My advice for you would just simply be to wait until you find the right person. You know, those meaningless crushes, one of them might turn out to be meaningful. You might have a crush on someone, and it turns out you fall in love with them. It just kind of happens like you don't I feel like typically when you fall in love you don't go searching for it you don't you know it just kind of it just kind of comes to you so that that love will come to you it just takes time and I know you want something meaningful so if you do find yourself in your next relationship and you feel like you could be in love with this person show them show them that you love them show them that you want this to be a serious thing show it that you want to like 
you're dating to marry, bro. You're dating to marry. You better show them. Show them that appreciation. Ask how they want to be loved. Learn how to love them. Let them learn how to love you. And it'll all work out, dude. Have you ever been in love? No. Okay. Have you ever been in love? Yes. Okay. <laughs> dude, that was, that, was, that was funny. No, I have never felt romantic feelings for anyone, and I don't know what it feels like. And that's okay. You may you may even you may be asexual or you may just have not find the route the right person yet. Who knows, man? Whatever it is, um, it's it's gonna work out. But what love feels like to me, if you in case you were wondering, is that it's just like this big ball in your chest that's trying to escape and you can say words, you can say I love you, you can say you're the most prettiest thing in the entire world and you could express that love to that person. But no matter what, it still feels like there's just so much love and it just can't escape. It's just like exploding in your chest, man. Once in 2021. It's amazing. I found myself placing the person's needs and wishes and pleasures above my own. That's what love is, man. That's what that's how it is, man. You know, you can't you got to remember to um, not neglect yourself, though. Remember to take care of yourself as well as your partner. It's okay to put them first, but remember to take care. You matter too, so take care of you. Total well-being is paramount, and I do whatever it takes to help them achieve. I do not neglect, neglect anything, however. I focus on becoming the best version of myself in order to enhance our lives. Through good times and bad, my behavior was supportive and consistent. That's what I like to hear. Supportive and consistent behavior. That's awesome. I'm glad that you're taking care of yourself as well as this person, you know, putting them before you. That's really great. All right, let's do like one or two more. There's a big story here, so we might end on this one. Have you ever been in love? Yes. It was last year in October when I started to fall for this one guy at my school. Me and him had all of our classes together, and we got paired for a science project. He asked for my number because we needed to talk about the project, which we did, but we also talked about a lot of other things, too. And that's where it always starts, man. When you meet someone at school, that's always where it starts. We became really close friends, and over Thanksgiving break, we would constantly text and call each other. Then on Thanksgiving Day, he asked me to be his girlfriend, and I said yes, because I liked him a lot. So we started dating, and everything was great. And one of the worst things about our... Oh. One of the worst things about our relationship was that everyone at school was involved. They always ask questions about us, and would try to get us to do things. I hate when people did that, bro. People, you would just be friends with a girl and you'd be walking with her and people be like, you guys are dating. You guys are gonna, you guys are dating. Like, no, dude, we're just, we're just friends, bro. We're just friends. Or you wouldn't even, sometimes you wouldn't even know the person. You wouldn't even know a person and someone would be like, you, we ship you and this person. You guys are getting shipped. Like, what the fuck does that mean? We're not at sea. I really started to love him a lot around Christmas time because we got each other gifts and we went to the movies together and other things too. I love a good movie date, personally. I love a good movie date. We were both just really happy. Then in the middle of January this year, he started to get really controlling in a way. He wouldn't like it when I would go sit with my friends and he would constantly be texting me like more than a normal person should. It got really annoying and he also wanted to take the relationship further and I did not at the time. So I started to fall out of love with him and like him less and less. A couple weeks later, I broke up with him in person. In per oh, obviously in person. If you're breaking up with someone, you should 100% of the time be doing it in person. That's my personal opinion, is that you shouldn't you shouldn't ask, ask someone out over phone, and you should not break up with them over the phone. Like, even if you want to break up with him right this very second, say the next time I see you, or I want to see you right now, but if you're unavailable, the next time I see you, like, we need to talk, and you, you do it then. That's just not right to do it over the phone. In person. So, and he was really sad, but I didn't want to string him along and make him think I still loved him when I didn't. There were other things that happened in the relationship that also let me break up with him. Understandable. I'm sure there were. Understandable. Yeah, I mean, I get how that can that can feel. It's controlling, you know. They they don't want you to hang out with the friends. Just you know, you know, kind of have you to themselves, and you gotta establish those boundaries and whatnot. But this just seems like kind of an unfortunate situation where it couldn't really be fixed, and then there was some other stuff going on. No, and I don't think anyone will love me enough to get married and have a family. I disagree. I think that someone will love you enough to get married and have a family. I think that you just haven't found that person. Maybe you're too young right now, 
or maybe it's just the right person hasn't come along but i guarantee that they will and when that person comes you just you know do your thing be yourself and they will love you for you and you guys can get married and live happily ever after dude you ever been in love no you ever been in love yeah so basically i'm in grade six and i have a crush on my best friend and i just told them and figured out they like me back and now i'm feeling so many butterflies let's freaking go dude love a good middle school crush turned out good let's end on that good story here i really appreciate you guys for tuning into this video today you know this is kind of a newer concept that i haven't really worked with since this video so if you enjoyed this then please make sure to drop a like like i said if this gets 200 likes then i will do a part two because let's see we have um about you know 40 50 more to go so let's get that part two going baby and if you like this viewer submitted type of content, leave a comment for me and I will gladly do more videos where you guys can participate. So thank you and subscribe.